morning. Welcome back to another episode of Inglorious Fishing. As you can see, we're out on the boat and we're turbot fishing on the sandbanks on the south coast of Sark. We've already got the four rods out. We've got some long nose for bait. We're hoping for a few fish today. It's a fantastic day. Variable one to three winds they give. There's a little bit of chop out here at the moment. It's a bit choppy coming up, but they give that to drop off. And I'm hoping we're gonna catch a few flatties today. We're on nip tides. The gates are open for 10 hours. So we've got a good amount of time out here and hopefully we can hook into these elusive flatfish. Good chance of a ray and taupe today. Hopefully those don't come. I wouldn't mind a ray, but not really a taupe. They're a pain. So uh, yeah, bring you back once we start getting some fish. Hopefully we start hitting to a few things. Let's get them. Well, everyone, we've just seen Tim's rod going. Feel weight there? Yeah. Uh, there's definitely a fish there, hopefully. And we're using long nose for bait. Uh, I've got given it from my friend. And that's the prime bait for flatfish, turbot and brill. I'm gonna get the net ready. I don't know if it is a flatty, but we'll just have the net ready just in case. But yeah, fantastic day. First fish, hopefully. It's not a dog fish. I don't know, it might lock it, will be. It might get caught in my line. Yeah. Your other rod's going, look. Yeah. The other rod's going as well, everyone. It's a gurnard. It's a nice gurnard. Yeah, bring him in. Yeah. What a lovely gurnard that is. Oh yeah, this, you're on again. Hello everyone, apologise for the camera cutting out. Unfortunately, the battery died. It seems to happen a lot with me lately. We got one gurnard there that Tim had. He also had another big gurnard. It's an even bigger gurnard there. Fantastic looking fish, grunting away. Beautiful, beautiful fish. So we're hoping we're gonna get one of these turbot. That's what we're here for. Hopefully one of these rods are gonna start screaming off. Lovely fish. Can't beat that for a fish, look at that. Fantastic. Right, let's get these turbo. Oh, everyone, we got something big on here. Oh la la. Oh my days. What is this? Oh, it's just come off. Whatever it was, just came off. Oh, I don't know what that was. That was, <laughs> that certainly bent the rod double. We might have got hooked on the bottom on something, but it's a big sandbank, unless it was just um, fishing gear that's been dropped, I don't know. That was big. That was well on. See if we've lost the hook. It might have been a tope. Certainly put the old heart race in that one. <laughs> We've also had a mackerel as well, everyone. Uh, I'll give you a show of that. Big giant mackerel. We were spinning in, bringing in the bottom rods earlier. And I had a big mackerel jump on. So we've got a bit more fresh bait. It's fantastic. It's turbot, absolutely love mackerel. Maybe we just caught something because we've still got the bait there. Yeah. Don't know. We'll be going back up for another drift though, going back down. 
and hopefully get some fish. So everyone, just had a big giant mackerel there. Caught that spinning up. Tim's just had one as well, so we're gonna fill it these up and get them on as a turbot bait. Let's get these turbot and brill. Just give you a show of these filleted mackerel there. That was a nice big mackerel. So we got some nice chunky bits, ready to get those on the hook for these flatties. Let's get them. Well, everyone, unfortunately, we've had no turbot here. It's just been cottlefish, cottlefish, cottlefish. We're just wasting our time. They're just annihilating the bait. So we're gonna start making our way in now and get onto some bream and scat. Well, everyone, we're up here. We're just up targeting some bream and some scat. I'm getting loads of bites, but I just can't seem to hook them up. Bop, 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 bop. Now we're up here just trying to get some pot bait. Fish on. Oh, he come off. Damn. Came off. They're playing with me, everyone. They're playing with me. Oh, I might have it. Yep, yeah, fish on. Yep, yeah, we got fish on. You beauty. It's a beautiful evening out here. Well, afternoon, should I say. And we're on some fish. It's either going to be a scat or a bream. Quite weighty. Might be foul hooked. Not as a lovely, lovely bream caught backwards. That's why it felt different. So we caught it in the tail. Don't know how we did that. Get him off the hook, get another bit of bait on, and get him straight back down. It looks like there's markings on the bottom. On the bottom. Get fish on. Yeah, that's better. The headbangs on that, you beauty. You can't beat this sort of fishing. Light gear with the feathers on, a little bit of squid or cuttlefish, hooking into a load of bream and scad. That's a nice fish, that one. Nice little bream, that. You beauty. Pot bait. Straight back onto the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Sun's beaming down, 22 degrees. Certainly boat fishing weather. Right, we seem to have come off the mark. There's no markings underneath. We're not getting no bites. I'm gonna reel back up, get the engine started. We'll go back for another drift and hook into these fine fish. Okay, everyone, we're back up for another drift. Just got the rod down. Got bites already. Oh, I didn't get it. Damn. Definitely black bream or scad though. We can do have a few of them because I've got no pot bait whatsoever. Nope. Couldn't get him. They're just playing with me, everyone. Just playing. Oh yeah, now we got one on. Look at that. Yeah, look at the head bangs. Nice. This would be a black bream for sure. You can tell by the fight in them. It's not a monster, but putting up a very good account of itself. Bang and head shakes. Another, another. Nice black bream. Straight in the top, get some more bait on, get them down. Gonna get these feathers straight to the bottom. And that's where the bream will be. There we are, on the bottom. Yep, boys. Missed him. Oh, I got him. Fish on. Yes. That's a bit better. That's no, not too big. 
But still, give, look at that. Fantastic boy. Lovely, lovely headbangs, the Blackberry. Well, that's a better one. Go, straight on him. Love a nice Blackberry. They're certainly on the feed on this nip tide, that is for sure. Straight back down, we haven't got a lot of time. We've probably got maybe 15, 20 minutes, something like that. We went out earlier with Tim. We had the bream, uh, we had the gurnards and we had the mackerel, but the turbot fishing weren't that great. So I've decided just to come out here, just have a couple of those, see if we get some fish for tomorrow for doing the pots. Didn't get him. Still didn't get him. Oh yeah, he's on. I thought we didn't get him for a second then. Good account of itself. Not the fabulous black breed. They're coming up thick and fast, that's for sure. Everyone's out on their boats on this fine, fine day. Can't blame them. Beautiful. Missed him. Missed him again. Oh, look at that. That's a better one. Woo! Oh, yeah, this is a good fish. This is a good, good fish. Bit more weight to this one. Oh yeah. Fight really well. Oh, big head bangs. Come on, don't stop. This reel stop the play up. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, we got two. Double walk off on the bream. You beauty. Nice double walk up there on the black bream. Fantastic. There's one. And there's number two. But they're certainly out in force. You can't beat fishing sessions like this. Let's get some more bait on. There's a big shoal of fish underneath us. And let's get into them. Fish on. Yeah, fish on everyone. We're in again. Another nice bream. Look at that. What a beautiful black bream that is. Okay, we're going to get straight back down. And we're going to hit into these fish. The, sh the markings on the sounder is unbelievable. There is loads of markings. Missed him. I've got him on. Oh. This feels weird. Well, now it don't. It felt weird at the start. Now it feels like a bream. Yeah, it's a nice bream as well. A nice big one. Not a not a fine black bream. We're hooking into them left, right, and centre. There's plenty of them. Loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. And that's why we take them for pot bait, because they're so readily available. Don't want to be taking fish that aren't readily available. Okay, more markings. Missed him again. Keep missing them, everyone. Yeah, big fish on. Yeah, that took it. Oh, look at the bend on that. It's 
be a nice one. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, that is a nice one. That's a nice black bream, that. That there, everyone, is an absolute beauty of a fish. I'm going to get it down. We haven't got a lot of time. We have 20 minutes, so time is against us. And as you know, tide waits for no man. So we'll get these down, see how much we can get. It's only a little hour session, three quarters of an hour session. So we've done all right to say that we've only been out for that long. Oh, I've just missed him. Missed him again. There's plenty of fish down there. Plenty of them. Nope, can't get him. They're down there. Just can't get him. We'll reel back up and we'll go up for one more last little drift. Okay, everyone, we'll have to, we're up for the last drift. Yeah, last drift. As you say, we've only got about 15 minutes before that gate shuts before I won't be able to get back into the marina. So we'll have a quick few drops, see if we can get a few more fish and then start ending. Missed him. Yeah, fish on. I got him that time, everyone. I got him that time. Don't feel like a monster. A nice fine fish giving a good account of itself. You can't beat that. Oh, that's woken up a bit. Oh, that's a nice one. The beauty of a bream. Check that out. Lovely, lovely patterns on the black bream. I'll give you a show of them later. Just quickly try and get these down as quickly as possible. Okay, we got them straight back to the bottom. There is plenty of marking, so I don't think it's going to take long. It shouldn't take long at all. Well, I did have him on. We lost him. Now we have a fish on. Oh, yeah. That's a better one. Look at that. That's bigger head pulls for sure. That's quite good. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a giant cooches. Look at the size of that cooches. What a cooches bream that is. You beauty. Oh, that's a nice cooches. That is a really nice cooches bream. Oh, just the top of the session. I'll give you a show of him in a minute. We're going to get these rods back down. Aye, aye. That's a lovely Coochies, that one. That is a nice eating size Coochies Breen. Oh, yeah, fish it on again. Oh, yes. Can't believe we had a lovely, lovely cooches right at the end of the session. It'd be great if this was one as well. Definitely some sort of bream. No, it's just a black bream. And a lovely black bream to end the session. Right. Fortunately, we're going to have to call that a day because, as I said, tide and time waits for no man. But that is a lovely, lovely Cooch's Bream. Probably about a pound and a half. Fantastic fish. Beautiful dorsal fin. You can hear it croaking. Just like the Gilted Bream. Same mouth structure. There for crushing up shells and stuff like that. Fantastic looking fish. One of the best looking fish in the ocean, I think. Right, we're going to have to start making our way in now. Let's start heading home. Thank you. 
So everybody, we're back into port now. Lovely cooches, lovely black bream. I hope you enjoyed this short fishing session. Unfortunately, I weren't able to get out any longer due to the gate being shut. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to catch you on the next fishing adventure. We'll see you next time.